Let's go out. Let's go out. The sun is shining and it is a beautiful day. to my YouTube channel and welcome back to what is going to be a glorious vlog. We have finally got some sunshine and I truly hope you guys enjoyed that little spin around the orchard as much as I did. It has been a glorious, glorious start to the day. So got up, of course, first things first coffee and then took the boys around the orchard and I feel like I've been showing you probably the tulips on every single vlog so far <laughs> because they are absolutely magnificent. We have tulips literally larger than my coffee cup. The garden was literally giving me goosebumps this morning so I just really really wanted to share it with you and kind of a very calming relaxing way of starting what is going to be an epic Vlog. I think you guys are going to love this one. It's a real mixture of everything that you all love as well as I do. So I am doing my skincare routine this morning and it's been a long time since we've done like a morning wellness routine together and I've got a few new bits and pieces that I've been trialing out that I've been desperate to talk to you about. So another quick sip and let's do the most heavenly morning routine together. So first things first, if you are new to this YouTube channel, then welcome. But for those of you who have been subscribers for a long time will know that I am skincare obsessed. I love trialing out products, I love trying new devices, and I love to find things that get us closer to the result that we are looking for without having to go down sort of like the aesthetics or professional or medical grade facials first 
first and foremost they can be expensive and it's difficult to kind of maintain that so I love to trial out different things um, to be able to do that at home and for those of you who have been subscribers will know that I am obsessed with PMD Beauty. I was a client before they even came on board and asked me to work with them. So I'm genuinely so delighted to say that we are partnering together for this vlog, which just makes me so happy that I can work with brands that I genuinely adore and literally use their products on a daily, if not weekly um, basis. So, as I said, I have been trialing, well, first and foremost, maybe for those of you that don't know, PMD Beauty are the most incredible skincare brand. And basically they specialize in creating beauty tools that can give you a medical grade facial at home. And they've kind of got lots of different tools. And actually one of my favorite tools, I use it literally i'd say like two three times a week and it depends upon what i'm doing that week is my microderm elite pro it looks like so and i always joke around <laughs> it is not what it looks like ladies this is a facial device anyway it is absolutely outstanding and you guys that have subscribed for a while and are loyal and dedicated youtube subscribers will kind of probably be a bit bored of me banging on about this incredible absolutely outstanding you know when you go for a hydrofacial and they like suck out all of the gunk and get rid of like the top layer of dead skin and blackheads and whiteheads anything like that yes we're getting down and dirty this morning um <laughs> anyway um insane absolutely insane so i will leave all of the details in the description box down below for this and um, have a little look back at my uh, previous uh, YouTube vlogs to kind of see like a demo of that because it really is incredible. And of course, I show the results. So actually after doing it, you can see what has come out, which is um, not pleasant, but it's nice to know that it's working. Anyway, they have another tool that I was really, really intrigued on trying called their Clean Acne Device, which is PMD's Smart Facial Cleansing Device. And what I love the most is that it's dual purpose. Now, I want to say that you don't have to have acne to be able to use this product. Obviously, being a woman of my age, you know, time of month, stress, diet, I can get pesky pimples. I've actually just got rid of one there, one rid of one here, and I do actually have a little bit of scarring from some of those horrendous spots that I've had, you know, on the lead up to our period. And you know what, that time of month, we've got so many hormones raging, and certainly in myself, I get spots at that time of month. So when I read about this product, I loved the fact that it's that real deep cleansing, and you can focus on areas more than others, and I certainly do. So my chin, my T-zone really get into my nose and it really gets down into the pores, just removing any of that dirt or kind of the thing that I've noticed the most is that I've got tiny little dark spots and now they're not blackheads. It's just oil that is congested in my pores and this gets them out. Now, you guys know I have really sensitive skin. So that was something that I wanted to try. Like, is it going to make my skin a little bit more red or is it going to have a reaction? Is it gonna create more spots? It's insane. And then this side is the game changer. Now, you know, sometimes I actually get spots on my back, whether I've been like sweating in a dress. We can also get like little, I sometimes get little pimples here, whether I've had like a perfume on or a little bit of makeup that I haven't taken off properly. And basically this is blue light therapy. So you can zap those suckers away. It is insane. So I thought, why not do a little bit of a morning routine? I'm gonna, ooh, <laughs> I'm going to talk you through it. <laughs> okay, so let's get into this. First and foremost, we're going to get those blonde locks out of the way. Oh, gorgeous silk scrunchie. What I like to do first is actually just get my face a little bit wet. Gosh, look at how horrendous I look. Honestly, the things I share with you. And then, what I do is actually just pop my cleanser directly. There we go. <laughs> directly on to my 
clean acne a few little pumps and this can really either be like a foaming cleanser or a you know a, a a gel cleanser, any cleanser that you've got, pop it on here. Preferably one that's going to like foam with a bit of water. And then I'm going to just get started. So first and foremost, you have a little power button here and you've got two different settings. So I actually like to start the setting on number one and do a sort of an overall cleanse. We wanna like get any of that dirt or impurities. You can do this up to twice a day. I always quite like doing it in the morning because it kind of just wakes my face up. It's bringing a little bit of blood to the surface. Now, in terms of the tool, it is a silicone tool and there are so many benefits to that. First and foremost, it is hypoallergenic and it's also the most antibacterial material that you can use. So as you can see, I'm just giving my face a once over everywhere. Uh, is absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you did happen to have, you know, a few more spots or actually, you know, cystic acne, this is incredible. You can pop it onto the second setting, like so. Hopefully you can hear the power and then you can get into those real directed areas. And so I actually do my nose, like so and then like my chin, underneath my chin, actually the backs of my ears. It's one of those places that you don't ever like get into, which is so important to. The one thing I love about the silicone bristles is that it is really, really delicate on the skin. So this is fantastic for anybody that has sensitive skin. And also with it being silicone, you're not spreading bacteria, which is so important when it comes to spots. You know, I always think that when um, I've been a bit naughty and I'll squeeze something, you know, and get rid of it straight away in case it spreads. Now this is not going to do that. It's also odor resistant, so it's not um, stinky. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's also waterproof, which is so handy because you literally, you can put the whole thing under the water. Or what I like to do is when I'm having like an everything shower, I will actually use this all over my body. I actually asked Mark to do it on my back. Sometimes I can get a little pesky spot or pimple on my back and this is absolutely brilliant. So you can have like a real deep cleanse exfoliant. As you can probably hear from the buzzing, the Sonic Glow technology vibrates 7,000 times per minute that basically lifts, firms, and tones your skin as well as getting out any of those toxins, impurities that essentially then lead to having spots and then even worse, acne. And yeah, it is absolutely amazing. But my favorite part of this device is this side. So I'm just gonna wash off my cleanser and then I'm gonna show you just how mega this is. And voila, look at how squeaky clean my skin is. It literally is absolutely divine. So, so soft to touch and I'm gonna come real close. This is fun. <laughs> Do not screenshot me right now, but look at how clear and clean my skin is. Please don't look at my eye bags. Mm. Not have much sleep at the moment. Anyway, let's talk about, so I'm actually just gonna give this a little bit of a wipe down because I've just put the whole thing under the sink. It's also amazing to see, obviously before I washed it, you can see all of like the dirt and grime in this side, which is just amazing. I suppose that's, you're able to see just how much it works. Now, we have the blue light therapy. So what you do is you press the little button on this side. When you've got the blue light, you know it's on. And then I'm just gonna show it on my hand so that you can see. It will give you a slight buzz sensation and then the blue light therapy starts to work. And there are so many benefits to blue light therapy. First and foremost, it is going to zap and kill any bacteria that lays just underneath the skin surface. So if you do have a spot, I'm actually going to pop it here. And as you can see, oh my goodness, when I'm talking, that looks so strange. <laughs> you hold it on for three minutes. And of course, if you have like a real active spot, you can then 
completely zap the bacteria that's underneath and also it's healing the skin at the same time. It also stabilizes our sebaceous glands which basically stops any excess oil production. Obviously our skin produces oil but we don't want excess oil because that's what leads to having spots and active acne. So it really stops you from having you know that sort of like pussy element, any oil that is excessive, so therefore leading to blackheads, whiteheads, and it really is just incredible. Another thing that I love about blue light therapy is it doesn't have to be spots. I have got a little bit of sun damage here and I've got a dark spot on this side of my face, which I hadn't really noticed until about three months ago. It has actually gone down a lot Away. it's almost like one-stop shop you're going to deep cleanse and then you're going to zap it away so just by that one little buzz I know it's on like so and once I've done sort of like my active spots or any scarring from a spot that I might have had I then work around my face with maybe like dark spots from a scar and then I actually move on to my nose area underneath my chin because that's where sometimes I'm a little bit oilier than others you've got your t-section and so once I've done you know elements that are first in line we then head to the nose and it just stops me from getting any extra blackheads and just basically stops them in their tracks. It really is an absolutely phenomenal product. So only because I know you guys are all going to ask me in those comments down below, what do you get when you buy the Clean Acne? So it comes in a gorgeous little case. You also get the goggles. You don't have to wear the goggles, but if you would like to use the goggles when using the blue light therapy, then you can. Obviously the little rechargeable cable. Now when you charge up your Clean Acne tool, it will last you actually two to three months depending upon how much you use it. So in other words, the charge element to this tool is fantastic but to be really honest with you the one thing I absolutely adore about PMD Beauty is they partner with non-profit organizations that have the same brand ethos and brand motto which is to feel your most confident self and all about spreading confidence in women which I just absolutely adore you know we all want to step out and feel our most confident self and certainly for me it comes down to having clean and and glowy skin and just feeling feeling healthy and vital and beautiful in myself and PMD Beauty that is basically their entire brand ethos which I absolutely adore. Now before you jump into that description box and click the link because you always do which I'm so so grateful for you gotta wait because of course PMD Beauty have been just so utterly generous and have given me a discount code for you guys. It's an epic one. So if you use Leonora, I will leave it on screen now, that will get you 25% off all of their beauty tools. It's absolutely amazing and it's something that you're gonna have forever. And no matter what you have, whether it's you know clogged up skin and you wanna use the Wave Pro or whether you want the clean acne, they have so many other beauty devices their mirror is insane honestly it's just the most incredible brand with fantastic results so Leonora will get you 25% off I'll leave it on screen in the description box down below and please go and take a little look at the website they've got just the most amazing things on there and it's always really really important to read up about a brand yourself and um, I think you're gonna love this one because just their whole brand motto is something that I absolutely treasure and most certainly think myself so yeah I I hope you guys love your clean acne devices as much as I do. Please let me know how you get on with it. And um, this is everything. Now that my skin is clean and ready for the day, I'm gonna pop on a little bit of moisturizer and then I'm going to do a very, very quick, glowy, everyday makeup look. Kind of like my daily routine when it comes to makeup. I wanna look pretty and feel like I'm well put together without feeling like I'm caked in um, 
in makeup and then I've got such a gorgeous day ahead. We have got house guests this evening. Well, we've got house guests for a few nights and we are hosting a gorgeous kitchen luncheon tomorrow. So I've got lots of baking, lots of cooking and of course a gorgeous tablescape to create. We went to Henley Market yesterday morning, which actually if you would have seen my last vlog, then you would have seen that. I went to Henley Market with my mother, which was just so gorgeous. Bought some beautiful florals to create a really pretty and sweet tablescape. I don't want to do anything too OTT because essentially it is like a kitchen daytime luncheon. Um, however, you guys know me, I do like to create something really magical and just so that my guests know and feel like I've gone sort of the extra mile and it's going to be really pretty. I'm also going to be cooking at some of my absolute favorites. We're not doing lamb, <laughs> do not worry. We're a bit lambed out. The last three Sundays I have cooked lamb, but we are going to do some real favorite family recipes. I'm gonna be making my incredible polenta cake. I know you think polenta and cake, Ugh. it's one of those recipes it's not my recipe so I will leave of course the recipe in the description box down below but I do just add a few little ingredients to make it my own and it is absolutely scrumptious so I'm going to quickly make myself look presentable for the rest of the day and I will see you guys downstairs to just have the most gorgeous beautiful sunny floral, tablescape, cooking, baking. I think mummy's going to pop in. Kimberly is arriving later. And I sent Kimberly a little message last night to first of all, ask her whether it's okay to film her, which of course she said yes, because she absolutely adores you. I went to her 80th birthday party. I mean, you guys just wait until you meet her. She's gonna be upset that I've told you her age, but you are not going to be able to get your jaws off the ground because she is so glamorous and just unbelievable. We all need to know her beauty secrets and I bet you 80 years ago, she's gonna wish she had PMD beauty, but she is absolutely phenomenal. And she makes this wild garlic dip to die for. <sighs> the moment that dip touches your taste buds, they are going to explode. You're gonna have also stinky breath, but that's fine, fine by me. Not worried about stinky breath. It is absolutely scrum didiotious. So we are going to be making that together as well. It's gonna be gorgeous, it's gonna be beautiful, and it's just gonna be so wholesome. So I will see you guys when I'm looking a little bit more primped downstairs. Back downstairs and I've got some very sunny sunbathing Dobby-esque sausage dogs. We see sunbathing. He says, Mummy, it's a <laughs> convertible kind of day. So the ears are back. The sunshine is just flowing. Oh, he says, Mummy, oh, oh, what's on your nose, Pickle? What's on your nose? Oh, mummy's little pickle. Huh? Are you precious little sunbathing sausages today? Are you precious little sunbathing saucies? Oh my goodness, I can't even cope. I cannot even cope. It's incredible how I get things done actually in the day. They are just, ugh, oh, it's an addiction. An addiction. Well, that's a lot better, isn't it? <laughs> I have got a pretty dress on and a look of makeup, and we have got a busy but gorgeous day ahead of us. As you can see, the table is shnaky, and we are going to be creating a beautiful tablescape together. We've got to do florals. Um, I am actually going to try and not knock myself out in the process this time. Um, that really hurt. <laughs> So um, yeah, we're gonna be, so it's gonna be Tablescape Safety Edition. Um, but as you can see, table is naked. We're actually gonna pop the leaf in because we are 12 guests tomorrow. I've gotta do some florals. I'm thinking like really rustic kitchen table with a small hint of clap, of course. So we're gonna go for a little rommage and go and find some gorgeous bits and pieces that we can use for a beautiful table. 
So if you didn't see my last vlog, then please do, because you'll be able to see my mother and I going to Henley Market to buy these beautiful florals. We've got some scrumptious seasonal tulips. We've got some gorgeous ranunculus. Look at these, they're parrot tulips in here. And so we're going to go with, this is actually wax flower, eucalyptus, and some gypsophilia, which I also call baby's breath. And uh, it's just a great filler and adds just a little bit of drama to floral arrangement. So we're gonna create quite a rustic table today. So I've been for a bit of a rummage in our, oh, in our storage um, shed. And this is what I found. So I found some gorgeous antique terracotta pots. These are absolutely fantastic because you can hold water in them so they're not going to leak and I just think they're just so gorgeous. So I will try and find similar. I have absolutely no idea where these are from. We've had these for absolute donkey's years. Um, but they are just such a gorgeous addition. And then I think I'm going to use glass posies. I'm even thinking to introduce like herbs on the table. I don't know. We're going to have a little bit of fun. As always, a tablescape is a work in progress. So let's get started. <laughs> in the danger zone <laughs> but this time I've not got flowers on the floor it is all up here and I am fingers crossed not going to slip it will be fine everything's going to be fine and what I actually love is that this is going to be really really different we're going to take like all of our gorgeous herbs that we normally have in the kitchen and I'm going to use them actually on the table there is just something so so gorgeous about sort of the smell of like rosemary and thyme and mint and basil just all these gorgeous gorgeous herbs when eating and i think mixed into some beautiful florals seasonal tulips beautiful ranunculus i think it's going to look epic i also love all of like the rustic pots that we have they're just so pretty and super authentic and it's because it's like a casual kitchen luncheon and the demographic is slightly older. I just think it would look so beautiful being quite rustic, paired back, but just super, super classy, if that makes sense. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful. And also the smell from the time is so gorgeous. Might need to add a little bit more soil, but I think he fits quite beautifully if you ask me. So I'm going to grab the flowers, I'm going to fill the sink with water. I need to give some of these a little bit of a scrubbingtons because they've been living in the shed outside for years. And we're going to get started on the most beautiful tablescape. I am actually going to use a lot of my Rebecca Oodle stuff. So it's going to be really lovely to be able to share almost the exact same products, but with a completely different look. You know me, you invest in something beautiful, it's going to last you a lifetime, but it's also important that you can style it in different ways. And that lends itself all the way from beauty to fashion to homeware. So Let's get started. I always think it's about working out the order that you want to do things. And with creating a tablescape, it's almost layering. So I've got the table, obviously clean the table first, pop the table either runner on or if you are using a, a tablecloth. Then what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna pop all of my plants into their pots and actually place those first just to see how much we need in terms of florals. I then think I'm gonna use these scrumptious ranunculus with a beautiful little bit of baby's breath, maybe some of that wax flower eucalyptus and then just pop them into a beautiful little dainty arrangement into this dot those around the table and then use my gorgeous Rebecca Oodle posies with maybe a tulip or two something really simple and really pretty oh what I would do for some lily of the valley but I don't have any at the moment and I don't have any in the garden so we might have to have a little bit of a mooch around the garden to find some gorgeous little white dainty flowers that will work so I'm going to quickly pot these up we are then going to place the table cloth and then see what it looks like Okay, so back in the kitchen and I've got my gorgeous Rebecca Oodle Chloe tablecloth 
So I'm just going to quickly whip this on and then we're gonna place those herbs on the table and then we can kind of get a good idea as to how many other beautiful little pots and posies we need. So, as if it was magic, we're going to do a big. <laughs> if only. Right, let's pop this on. I was so obsessed by our Easter tablescape that I thought I would try and create something that was similar. Here we go. <laughs> loving it so far so rustic and just so gorgeous so as you can see i've placed the herbs onto the table let's head back into the scullery to create the most scrumptious luxurious posies of all time we're back in the scullery and i'm going to focus on these gorgeous antique almost like steel little vases they're just so gorgeous they're also a little bit wet I've given them a bit of a clean they were dusty and a little bit dirty so excuse the color but they look like this so rustic and just so gorgeous obviously what I do first is create um, what I want it to look like and then use that as an example and create the rest to match so I'm going to do five or six of these depending on how many I have and I think in terms of color combos I'm gonna keep it these gorgeous creamy greeny ridiculous so we're gonna go with whites and greens in these gorgeous vases and then with the beautiful dainty posies we're gonna add those parrots tulips because they are chef's kiss so i'm gonna pop you guys on a time lapse enjoy the music enjoy me faffing around but honestly i am in my element and there we go that is my first posy finished and I think it looks super whimsical and absolutely scrumptious, if you ask me. So I'm going to go ahead and replicate that, and then we're going to place them on the tables, and then we're going to get these pink tulips of absolute dreams into, oh, look at this. I showed it to you on my Easter vlog, but these are the Rebecca Oodle. Now these are the slightly larger vases and then we've got the trio vases and they're just the most beautiful quality and they're so different. Anything with a scalloped edge and you know I am obsessed. So we're going to fast forward this bit. I'm gonna pop you again on a time lapse. So enjoy the gorgeous music and enjoy watching me create the most beautiful little dainty floral arrangement. ready for this I always think the Taylor Swift song are you ready for this I'm so excited for this the Sun is shining and I am in the best mood I haven't damaged myself as of yet touch wood I won't anyway the florals are done in those gorgeous like rustic vases so let's pop them down the table and see what it looks like might actually be one of my favorite tablescapes of all time and we've only just placed the second lot of florals it's beautiful it's like a mixture between 
really whimsical, rustic, antique beauty. I am, I am so in love with it. It's so classy as well, which I absolutely love. Of course, we've still got to add those gorgeous pink tulips, but I think that's really going to make it pop. So let's head back into the scullery. I feel as though I live in there at this point, but don't you think that it looks just so scrumptious? And then those little gaps, as you know, we're going to fill them. Sunbathing sausage edition part <laughs> 100. We've got one little sun worshipper there. Oh, he's a bit hot, mummy. I'm a bit hot. And then we've got the Arga slugs in full force. In full force, mummy's little scrunch skin. Yeah, your little scrunch. There was just something missing. You guys know me. We can't do a tablescape until we've had a glass of bubbles. So we've got to get those creative juices flowing. And today's choice of champagne is a Laurent Perrier pink. Absolutely scrumptious. So, along with a lipstick pop and a cork pop, that really is no other better sound, is there? So let's open it up. You ready? That was a big one. <laughs> okay, well, cheers, everybody. Good thing I didn't take my nose off whilst doing that. Ah, oh. cheers. Mmm, perfect. Oh, look at that! I'm having a little Beyonce moment at the same time. Oh, love it. The pretty pink posies are ready for the table, and look at how dainty and delicious they look is just so cute and i think that little pop of color is going to make the table so let's place them and you know what this is really where we start to build the tablescape you start seeing those little gaps and you pop them into those gaps so i've got three of those gorgeous posies so i'm going to pop that one there and i'm going to put the third one So these are all the florals placed onto the table and I think it's safe to say that they look so pretty. It's a little bit more casual, very kitchen garden vibes. Loving the terracotta pots, beautiful herbs on the table. These are the Rebecca Oodle candlesticks and those gorgeous candlestick holders that I used at Easter. All of the beautiful little posies, the tulips, the ranunculus, the wax flower eucalyptus, gypsophilia, it just works. It's absolutely stunning. The mint is almost the star of the show and it's just so lovely that it's sort of growing down and onto the table. So as you can see, I've used the florals again as almost the table runner. Gosh, I just think that that looks so gorgeous, that rosemary. Beautiful tulips and they are blooming just to perfection. So I'm gonna pop you back up on your tripod and I'm going to lay the rest of the table and come back and show you just how beautiful it's going to be.
the table is really beginning to take place and now I'm going to be placing my Rebecca Oodle Eloise plates. They are absolutely beautiful, all hand painted and so individual and you've got that gorgeous green painted edge. I think it's going to look so, so pretty. And the best thing about these plates is it's a perfect size for lunch. Sometimes I can think that they are a little bit on the small side, probably because my family and I are utter foodies and probably piggies <laughs> but for lunch you just want that slightly smaller plate but these are their dinner plates and I'm going to be placing the dessert plates on out of the oven. Now I kept her in slightly longer than I normally would just because the central bit of the cake didn't sort of set as it normally would so it was in there for probably about 20 more minutes but as always we'll leave the exact recipe down below. That looks incredible! Okay, 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 okay. Whenever I open this door somebody says mommy it's mummy! It's mummy! Head of security! Oh, we have some beautiful hydrangeas. Now these are the hydrangeas that I bought in the market yesterday. And we are just going to pop them in the entrance hall and in the hallway to the kitchen. They're just so gorgeous. And by plant planting them into a gorgeous planter, it just instantly elevates it. If you look after these and try and keep them somewhere slightly cooler in your house and obviously keep them watered, they're gonna last two to three months. So. They're just so beautiful. We've got one more. Beautifully pink number. They're so pretty. I think they match my dress to perfection, wouldn't you say? Oh, right. Let's head into the kitchen and pop them on the uh, side table. Here we go. Now, because this is an antique piece, I always do like to have a mat underneath it, just in case there was a little bit of water. We've got those very handsome sausages either side. My Holland Cooper home diffuser, which actually could do with a flip. Just take 
those out, spin them round very carefully. And if any of you have been to the Holland Cooper Boutique, you'll know that smell. Oh, it literally is just iconic and absolutely scrumptious. So we've got Jo Love's White Rose and Lemon Leaves, which we'll be lighting tomorrow. Beautiful diffuser, and I mean, does it get more beautiful than a billowing hydrangea? Oh, utterly scrumptious. Right. We're off to find some blossom. <laughs> it's a little bit windy. Scrumptious. Really oh, nice. Absolutely delicious. Right, Odie, show us where the blossom is, baby. Okay. Ooh, tripping up. Oh, you're right there. <laughs> okay. I'm not looking where I'm going. Can you stack it? Oh, God. Okay, now I'm thinking I need to get this from the back of the tree. Okay, right. Oh, no. What? Oh, I forgot. What? Bloody Paris's. <laughs> okay. Do we try and back? She'll be momentarily back. Yeah. Right. We have the utensils! Oh, okay. Oh, well, that was rather exhausting. Okay. Um, we need large and long. I didn't quite know what that it sounded a lot worse when it came out. Uh, yeah. She's in the tree again. Okay. Right. I want to make yourself uh, invested. Uh, Suck tears. But this, I feel a little bit less. You know what? I do not do drama at all, unless you're right there. <laughs> You've got like a bee. <laughs> unless it's flowers, and then we love the drama with the flowers. Other than that, I don't do drama. Step away from the drama. magnificent fully foraged kitchen arrangement we want drama but there's this real sort of like ethereal vibe it's beautiful So as far 
as tablescaping and floor arranging goes, I think we may be finished. So to give you a super quick run through of the table, these are my gorgeous Edition 94 placemats. We've got that gorgeous Rebecca Oodle table cloth. We've got the Rebecca Oodle chargers, the Eloise plate with that gorgeous French linen napkin. And then these are my little Amazon purchase, which we did the bows again. We've got the gorgeous Diana water glasses and then our white wine and red wine. Got a little ochre candle, tea candle holder and then beautiful Rebecca Oodle posies. Now these are little antique pieces that we've had for years, but I will try and find something similar. And we've got those gorgeous florals throughout. And then we've popped the mint, the thyme, and the rosemary on the table. And I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I absolutely love it. The hydrangeas that we picked up from the market yesterday are looking just so beautiful. And I absolutely adore the blue, Got the gorgeous greens. And then it's just amazing, isn't it? How the color comes through so vividly and it's just exquisite. So this is a little glimpse of the table on the other side. We did some of those dainty posies with just the foliage. So those are the wax flowers. And then I did actually do a few of the posies with just gypsophilia. And I think it just introduces a little bit more texture to the table and not too much color. And those beautiful pink tulips, I think just make the entire table sing. So this is the final look of our beautiful blossom arrangement. We went into the orchard and we got this gorgeous white and pink and I've mixed it up actually and I think it looks beautiful. And then these lilies are a couple of weeks old. I've cut the stamens out just to save the marble and actually by adding a few ice cubes just keeps it cool and keeps it fresh. We've got those gorgeous lemons underneath and I think it looks absolutely beautiful. So I think that is enough floral arranging and tablescaping for one day, but I think Mummy is going to absolutely love it. So Mummy and Kimberly are literally just about to arrive and we're going to be having a gorgeous family supper this evening. But I am hopefully going to get Kimberly on the vlog to teach us her outrageously scrumptious wild garlic dip. Mm, it's everything. So, fingers crossed you'll arrive. I need to pop a little bit more lip gloss on, have a sip more of champagne, and I will see you guys in a bit.
celery on fire. There we go. Well, first and foremost, I need to apologize that I didn't come back on last night. Kimberly arrived, and to be honest with you, we just had a bit too much fun. Come Bar over here. Much. Come over here. Far yes. too much fun. The amount of people that have been asking for you, honestly, it's so exciting. So we, we had probably a bit too much champagne to come a on last tiny night. Bit. Touch, touch too much. But we've been up busy bees this morning. Everything is ready to rock and roll, and our guests are arriving in 15, 20 minutes. Yes, your yes. hair. Oh, the hair needs the to come hair, out, darling. yes. The rollers need the to come hair. out. But I've been telling everybody that you are the queen of dips. Well, actually, anything that I've kind of learned was actually through mummy, but mummy learned it all from Kimberly, and I feel horrendous, I'm probably gassing you up with my garlic breath, but we have created the green goddess dip this morning from the wild garlic in the orchard, and would you be able to talk people through it just quickly? Very quickly. Should I... we go over to the crudite to show them just how beautiful it is? Yes, Let's why go. not? Let's go, let's go, fabulous. So this is a crudite plate inspired fully by Kimberly, and so this is her piece of resistance over here. So what have you done? Basically, it would be prepare all the vegetables, but as far as the dip is concerned, yes. it's basically cream cheese, uh, wild garlic, parsley from the garden, mint from the garden, any kind of herbs that you've got, salt, uh, lemon, always zest oh, of lemon too, just zest to give it a little bit of herb. Uh, but keeping it quite natural, really. Yeah, but oh uh, my God, it's delicious. But sometimes I do put borsan in if I haven't got the wild gar garlic. Garlic, to get okay. That natural garlic flavour. Delicious. And then how do you make it quite so creamy? Are we putting any sour cream uh, in or cream cheese or? It's all cream cheese. Oh, And delicious. then if it's a little bit too stiff, then it's um, a little bit of uh, double cream in it just oh, to loosen it a bit. But you don't want it too loose or it's yeah. very hard for people to, to dip to with dip. some crudite. I think that's the So I love this. We've got our gorgeous cabbage. Yes. platter now actually talking of the queen of dips and you are the queen of platters <laughs> this one has got more platters than you can shake a stick at actually guess who has them now <laughs> i know we're very lucky kimberly keeps bringing us platter after platter every time you come to visit us and that's a nice uh, <gasps> wild garlic pesto wild garlic pesto this is everything this is the recipe i've been telling everybody about can you quickly talk us through this um yes it's basically i've used pine nuts in this mm -hmm. but you can use Use toasted walnuts or any oh, kind of other nuts, uh, parmesan and mm -hmm. wild garlic, um, lots of olive oil and uh, parmesan. It, it's oh. quite. I keep it quite simple. It's simple, but it's pungent and it is yeah. absolute perfection. Well, thank you so much, Kimberly. So this is our little crudite and canapé station. It is a kitchen lunch today, laid back. Mummy didn't want anything too glam. However, of course, I do like to add my little touch. So we've got some olives, some quail's eggs, sun-dried tomatoes, we've got that little bit of celery salt. This is my famous polenta cake and it is an absolute winner. I've simply dusted some icing sugar and popped some rosemary on the top and it is absolutely scrumptious. And with that beautiful blossom that we foraged yesterday, I think it's safe to say that this looks incredible. We are so unbelievably lucky with the weather. We've put all of the cushions out. The sun is shining and the tulips are just tremendous. Look at them. They are absolutely enormous. So we've set up a little table here with the rosé and the wine. It's where we're gonna be serving the champagne. Just overlooking, I mean, just for context in terms of size, this is my hand. <laughs> it is bigger than my hand and they are absolutely magnificent. What a spectacular day. slugs and supermodels mummy so all this entertaining is just absolutely exhausting 
Oh my goodness. Little scrunchkins. Oh, I had Odie in my bed last night. We cuddled all night long because Daddy was away. Daddy is about to arrive. Well, Daddy's about an hour away. He has just landed from Mallorca. Oh, my little scrunch skin. Anyway, we are well on our way. We've got some gorgeous chipolatas up here. We've got some stunning little Jersey new potatoes with rosemary, and those are going to be roasted in the Arga. And then we've got the stars of the show. We've got some magnificent birds, as Mark would call them. Oh, steamed up the camera in the oven, and we are going to be serving it on this incredible board here an enormous board actually made out of wood spare wood that we when we were building the house it's going to put all the chickens all the sausages very family style very rustic and laid back of course it wouldn't be a lunch party without my fennel gratin so that is all prepped and ready and it's going to be incredible now look at this cheese board that kimberly and john brought up every single cheese is from gloucestershire and this is a williams scooping Gorgonzola. Mark is going to lose his mind. This looks incredible. Mark is literally just about to arrive and I've come out the front door to greet him and I've seen that the trees in the front are blooming. Literally they bloom for about three to four days once a year and they are coming out which is just so so special. The tulips are out in force out the front here and I just thought I have to turn the camera around and I have to show you just how special this is. The water, the trinkling water and those birds chirping honestly is just the most incredible sound what a beautiful day i mean how lucky are we this is just so so beautiful so just quickly before he arrives look at these tulips they are in full full bloom oh they are absolutely sensational and enormous might i add look at that and what i think is the most incredible thing is actually in the evenings when it gets a little bit cooler they close up which is absolutely amazing it's almost like each and every single one is an individual little person and then we have just almost like unorganized florals which i think is the best way we've got some self-seeded muscari there all of these beautiful tulips down the sides of the gorgeous york stone then god our beautiful water feature we've got some hyacinths <laughs> and some muscari and again all of those are colorful tulips but i don't know if that if that doesn't make you smile then i don't know what else will it looks absolutely sensational. Look at this red tulip with the yellow center. I think that's breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. We've got our little piggies here. And then again, the little secret garden that comes through. We've got gorgeous benches. The daffodils are still out. The borders are looking incredible just looks absolutely amazing but to show you it's, these are the trees and it's so difficult to share it with you because of the light but about four or five days once a year these three trees are in full bloom and if i can get up close you'll be able to see it's also a little bit windy so hopefully you can hear me but look at that all the gliders are out today because of the beautiful weather the sun is shining there is a light breeze which is keeping it just a little bit cool which is absolutely divine and the trees are starting to bloom this is absolutely magical
I think he's here. Is he here? Is he here? He is! He is! He is! He is. Hi, Pums! Hi! <laughs> Hello my angels. So we have had an incredible day. It is now half past nine at night and we are actually off to our next door neighbours. Oh, there are the boys. Next door neighbours to go and listen to the most unbelievable choir. It is genuinely a once in a lifetime kind of thing. We've got Mama in the back. Have we had the best Hello. day? And we've got Kimberly here. Are you excited for this? I'm absolutely thrilled about it. I it, bet it's going to blow our minds. I think it's I going to blow our is. minds. Well, first of all, Mr. Chapel itself just is mind-boggling. I can't wait for you guys to see it. And the choir, we saw them last Christmas and they are no, outstanding. Really it's going to be special. We're so lucky to be asked, actually. Yeah, that's very really. true. It's really very, very true. So, let's go! I'm forever swooning over their garden. I mean, it is quite breathtaking. Literally, the greenhouse of absolute dreams. Right, let's head off to the chapel. Good girl. Good girl. She thinks she's a chihuahua. Oh, exactly. She's a lap dog. She thinks she's a lap dog. Are you comfortable? This is the mind blowing. There are no other words. This will be taking your breath away just as it is mine. This is the breathtaking chapel here at our neighbor's home and this is honestly one of the most beautiful places i've ever been in my entire life there are over a million pieces of iranian glass and mirror and gold to create this magical magical chapel it's small it's intimate and it's outstanding. It's honestly, it makes you emotional even walking in here. And it's so, so special because actually when Mark and my wedding got canceled, our wonderful neighbors actually asked whether we would like to get married here with just 15 people during the pandemic when we were only allowed 15 people. 
and I mean what a wedding that could have been. Obviously we had already invited all of our guests and our wedding was already planned but could you have imagined? This is honestly... I don't have words. I just don't have words to describe this. It is as beautiful as you can see and in literally just a few minutes time the gospel choir are going to come in and sing for us which is so special so they are actually spending a few days here because it is a shorter commute all the way from Leicester that's where they're from to London and hopefully I can get Pastor Samuel on the YouTube vlog to
Now this is Pastor Samuel, who is one of the big bosses and one of the most sensational singers who you would have just heard, and you are sort of in charge of the Ego Gospel Choir. Yeah, there's a, a team of us, so I'm one of them, part of that team. Part of the team, and my goodness me, you guys, not only are they phenomenal, every single singer in the choir just has the most breathtaking, spine tingling, every hair on my body was standing up this oh evening. My. You are phenomenal, and Thank actually you. I've been so lucky to be able to hear you a few times here, but you just get better and better and better. And what's really, really exciting is that they are actually here because you are filming, well, you are recording yes. your first ever album. Yes, we are. We're recording our first ever album. We've written hundreds, if not, well, there are close to around 2,000 songs that we've written over the years, over the past 20 years. And right now, we've been thinking, okay, we wanted to get better, yeah. to get to a place where we can record. Yeah. And we feel like the time is right. The time is the right. Time the time is, is right. right. But what is actually the most special thing about this entire choir is the story. So could you tell us the story? Um, the story it can be a little bit long, but then we, um, we started in Leicester from a group of people that you just met in church, and then we brought an old working men's club to turn it into a community center in the church. And when we started to sing, we just started to sing to make people happy. And when we started to sing, a lot of people started to invite us to many different events. Yeah. But then the, um, our building was robbed when we just started. So then now we had, had to start singing to find ways for that community centre for it to be built. So we started going around singing only for free and just accepting donations. And we've laughed. I'm not sure which part of the story you were told, but then it's a very big story with a lot of great Everybody's parts. individuals. Yes. And like you take, you take people that, you know, maybe are slightly lost on their path or yes. whether you are, I mean, I've just been floored by a few of the individual stories. Yes, there's some that way. There was um, a former drug addict who was, um, he was into gun crime, he was arrested, he was in prison, but now he's reformed. He's a manager at his work because he just got promoted. He's 
coming back to London, not in his former life, but now we've got a lady who was the lady of the streets. She was a prostitute. Her life has been changed. She's here with her son, and both of them are committed members of the choir. We've got some that were asylum seekers that were homeless. Yeah. The bishop. Uh, took them took to the house, house and then some of us when we joined the church we started taking in people that did not have anywhere to stay oh, put them in in our houses until they are able to stay with their two feet and they've never left so if the world could live like that i think the world would be a better place it would be a better place honestly yeah. like it is i've never you know it's so emotional everything is so emotional you guys are just honestly the greatest human beings and what you're doing and actually the positivity that comes out of it just the way that all of you are smiling just having the best time and the music is absolutely oh mesmerizing truly you're an incredible human so thank you so much Ooh, thank you and i'm not sure if you're gonna put this in you may edit it out no but no i'm people, not i'm not if I'm you not. did not know this lady can sing <laughs> she can sing we just heard it today oh. if you get an opportunity to hear her, oh i'm gonna edit that bit out <laughs> nobody's hearing that bit and follow us please follow her yes anywhere. i'm going to follow leave. everything that she does oh thank you but i'm yes. going to leave all of the details of the gospel choir down below in that description link their album when do you think it will be released um, it's being worked on now by Tom Allen, who produced the Judas Priest. He's the one producing it. We are recording when Mark North, uh, uh, he had his um, uh, one of his With albums. The best of the yes. best. We are in the best studio in the world. Oh my gosh, that's yes. so exciting. Um, when do you think it will be available to purchase? Possibly in the next two months. I next hope, two months. If okay. everything goes well, I will message you, and as soon as it is live, month. I'm going to let you guys know. Follow them on Instagram, and obviously go and see the website. So can they donate themselves? Yes. Fantastic. Oh, yes. If, I even will for leave. the well album, they can donate for it to come to fruition. Because it's about thirty thousand pounds, and we're still fundraising for it. Well, I will leave yes. all of those details down below. So if ever you have even just a spare pound, five pounds, whatever you guys can afford to donate, I will leave the details in the description box down below. But thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. So this is beautiful Venga. Thank you. Oh, my she's a beauty. Huh? Oh, you're exhausted. Huh? Oh, bless her. You are precious. <laughs> We have just got home and the blossom is in full bloom. I mean, what an incredible evening. Oh, I don't have the words to sum up tonight, but to come home and to see the blossom on these trees is the perfect ending to the most magical weekend.